All right. Um, I picked something up off of, off of eBay, kind of a strange relay. Um, this came out of some type of Agilent instrument, um, but uh, it, has a, it has two relays in it. Uh, one relay is just a normal relay. It goes between two and four, click, click, right? And then it has another relay over here that goes between two, and there's a built-in 50-ohm load, so you can either have it connect these two or, or connect over to a 50-ohm load to ground. So, and then there's this one in the middle, so you could have have it, I don't know, it's just weird. You can have these, have, you, have, you could have one connected to three, right? Now, the way that it works, though, is these are ganged together, so you can't have one connected to three. They're either both left or both right, okay? So one, uh, you can have three and four, That that that's good. You can have one go to two. So either three can go to two, one can go to two. And then when they're in the other state, three goes to four and one goes to ground. So anyway, kind of a weird little, kind of weird little device. But when I got it, um, it looked like it was in really good shape. And I popped off these protector things. And these are stainless steel and they're usually pretty, really rugged. Um, but one of them was bent and um, I, I fixed it. And then I thought, oh, I should have filmed that. Um, and so, uh, what I want to talk about today, because I've, I've had to do this multiple times on used equipment. A lot of times these things just get thrown into a bucket and they, they get banged around and they get dented and stuff you know, when the connectors are off of them. So, yeah, it's nice having these on there, uh, but these were put on after they got bent. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've taken a, uh, a Junker SMA here. And I put a dent in it. I'll change lenses to show you the dent. But what I'm going to show you is was was the way that I got the dent out, right? Um, you can kind of try to reach inside. You can kind of like try to try to try to massage it out with the, maybe some type of metal tool. Um, I wasn't really getting anywhere, especially with those stainless steel ones. They're quite hard, and uh, so. Uh, I've shown these before. I've got a video on uh, drill blanks. So this is a this is a regular set of drills, except uh, they're not drills. They're just the drill blank. They're just so you can buy these. They're called drill blanks, and I have a I have a set here of numbered of numbered drill blanks. And what we're going to do is we're going to start small, which one fits in, and then we will try to try to bend bend that little. Uh, divot out of there. So this is kind of like auto body work. Okay, <laughs> let me change the lenses. Okay, let's get this thing as a focus here. I think you can see that I have a a, a dent right at the bottom. Right at the bottom there. This is there's this ugly ugly dent. This is going to be hard to photograph because it has a, such a narrow depth of field. But I'm going to get try to get that 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 bend out of there. So I'm going to take a uh, take a tool that fits in there and. I'm, Kind of find a bigger one that fits. This one, oh, this one, oh, there we go. I had to push it, and it just barely fit. And then, and then I kind of bend it as much as I can to try to open it up. Let me go up the next size. Oh, the next size is not going in. Okay, so I'm going to go back a size. All right, so this one, this one just fits. There we go. Now I'm going to try to uh, try to work it. All right. I'm going to take the next size up. And I know this is all going to be terrible video, but I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to get this in there and uh, work it in. That one's not going. So I'm going to try to take this one again. And you can sort of. Uh, Try to find that little dent there and kind of lever it so you're opening up that dent a little bit. There we go. Now this one, the next size, the next size up fits fine. I'm going to go up another size and uh, try to keep this all on camera. And that one's fitting good now. I'm going to go up a size and that one's fitting good up a size. And that one's fitting good, up a size. And, oh, that one's, that one is fitting in there just nicely. Just nicely. Now, I'll go up one more. This is probably the final, 
final size that will fit in there. And yeah, this one won't fit. It, it, yeah, this one won't fit. So there we go. Um, I think you can see that it's now round. And uh, sometimes I'll come along and uh, file flat the, the end of the connector, because sometimes you'll get a burr on or something like that. So file that flat, but uh, all right, well, there you go. That's my technique for getting the dents out of your uh, SMA connectors. Um, and uh, yeah, I've repaired quite a few that way.